everybody and today I am going to show you how to build um, a mini Among Us Lego figure. Not the most difficult and yeah so I'm n I was planning on taking this apart but it takes barely any time to take it apart so I'll just show it plus then you can see kind of the building process reversed which might help later on. Sorry if my shadow is kind of blocking the light. But first of all, I'm just going to take it apart. I'm going to go into detail on how to build this later on. And yeah, you'll need this little stand. This is not actually part of the figure. That is just a stand I made. I'm going to sort this a bit so that it's a bit easier for you all to see. There's actually three pieces that are very, very common throughout this build. The, the most common piece is not the big pieces. Okay, so now I'll show you what you will need. Now, I'm using a small piece for a stand. You do not need this. I'm going to put this on here, though, because I will want to stand up the figure. But to start this off, you will want to get one of these pieces, a brick, a it's a one by two brick in black because I'm making mine in black. Then I'm just going to put on the two, like you'll need two studs in the, in the same color as the brick. This should all be the same color except for maybe the stand and this piece, which you will, which you'll see what it is there for, but you'll need two studs. Next, you will need three of these pieces, which are just one by two black plates and you'll take one and stack it right on top of that brick looks pretty cool then you're going to need one of these it's a one by two with the one by two side extension here so it's basically got four studs but it's at a 90 degree angle you're going to want to put that on top as well then connecting to that you want to put on this piece which is basically the visor for the among us figure very important that they can see you know then you're going to need to we'll put this to the side for now it stands on its own but it's easier with the stand you know especially if you want to display it and it might shake a bit because it'll fall over if I just shake this but I'm not planning on shaking it very much next though you will need one of these which is the same piece that you use to connect the visor just instead it's a bit further down and say two by two surface here and a one by two surface up here and you're going to want to take the remaining two of the one by two plates and connect it to it now i'm i'm using black one because it's my favorite color and two i i it's just all these pieces come in black that i need to be in then you're going to want to grab two cheese slopes one by one cheese slopes you're going to want to put them on and um, here's the trick um, don't um, put it on right now before you put on the cheese slopes put on the cheese slopes and then do this because it can help you get them as well, like almost perfectly aligned depending on how flat your surface is this is pretty flat because it needs to hold a cup and then you're just going to take this connect it on top and then you would take your stand or put this on your set but there you go Simple Among Us figure. Honestly, I think this is a pretty neat design. You can do this in any color that you can find the proper pieces to. And if you and for these two um, pieces that are used to attach the visor and the backpack on the back, that's what I'm going to call it for now. I don't know what it is, and I have not played Among Us, but I want to play it on the channel. But if you do not find them in the exact color, one, consider looking on custom piece sites might be easy to get the pieces but those might not be the best quality or this the this if you want full original lego grab make it out of a color that has the pieces or use a color for that like for the pieces that kind of matches like let's say you're making a dark blue one like one of the like this dark blue for captain america that dark blue is it might match with black you know you can probably use black for that just use a color that kind of matches with what you're doing, and it should work. 
and yeah that is it for this quick tutorial it is a re really fast one actually and this is the crewmate version um you have a lego blaster and if you want to attach it to street play-doh to attach weapons or something here and it can work really well now this is good if you have built a map from Among Us and you really really want to put some figures on it you know and you built it so this is kind of the right scale it's not too high let me grab a ruler real quick and then I can show you how high it is um, this one seems to be pretty readable it's a Lego ruler yeah this one I'm I'm thinking you will be able to read hopefully um, I'm gonna do inches it's mm, I need to turn it around <laughs> but yeah let's see it's um a bit more than an inch it is an inch and a quarter like it's 1.25 inches okay one inch and then another quarter inch in height if you build an among us map to scale this figure like to that scale for the figures, you know, would work pretty good. Like then you can just grab these figures, you know, put them on your map. I honestly think you should use the stand and then tile off the map to make it a lot easier. And then you can make a little stop motion, you know. You'll have these pieces, but you know, kind of works. Yay! But that is it for this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in my next Lego tutorial or Minecraft video. Probably going to be a Minecraft video though because I want to show in my next Minecraft video how you can make the custom villager shops. Even though you will need to ask uh, me because I need to validate it in creative mode. Yeah, I, I wish it could be done in survival. Honestly, that would be dope if you could do it in survival because then you could make a god trade and it would not be a like it would not be a cheat because all you'd be doing is using a data pack and you'd be using it in survival. But that is it for today and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.